So make sure that you've read this question carefully because there's a lot there. Um, but part one is just a necessary condition for x to have a binomial distribution. You need to spend some time committing these to memory. Um, I'm just going to put an excerpt from the Mark scheme here so it'll accept any of those, any one of those. Each observation is independent. Each observation represents one of two outcomes, success or failure. That's why it's called binomial, so two numbers. Um, and the probability of success, P, is the same for each outcome. Um, which kind of is the same as saying that they're independent, to be honest. But um, any of those, any sensible um, statement, which is a necessary condition, um, will get you the mark. OK, then we get a bit more interesting. Find the probability that um, in a week, so in seven days, seven trials, that is, Janice sees a kingfisher on exactly two days. So we have here a binomial distribution um, where some variable x, which up here is the number of days in a week on which she sees a kingfisher. And that value is binomially distributed with n is 7, that's our week, um, and uh, probability of success in a single trial is 0 0.3. So chance of us seeing it on a particular day is 0 0.3. Um, and we're trying to find the probability that x is exactly 2. And we can use the class with calculator to do that, or you can use the formula. So it'd be 7c2, uh, success probability to the power 2, and failure probability to the power 5. Work that out, we get 0 0.3177. Right, then we've got the kind of tricky, interesting part of this problem. Each week... She notes the number of days on which she sees a kingfisher. So instead of just looking at one week of multiple days, we're now looking at multiple weeks. So find the probability that Janice sees a kingfisher on exactly two days in a week during at least four of six randomly chosen weeks. It seems like there's a lot to be dealing with there. But it's not as hard as it sounds because you can notice that that underlined statement there, or that phrase, Janice sees a kingfisher on exactly two days in a week, is exactly the thing that we've just worked out in part two. And the success probability of that was 0 0.3177. So one way of reading this sentence here in part three is find the probability that we get a success during at least four of six trials, a trial being now a week, and the success condition being that we see a kingfisher on exactly two days in that week. So let's create a new binomial distribution here using a new variable. I'm going to call it y. So I'm going to let y be the number of weeks in which Janice sees a kingfisher on two of the days in that week. Um, and y is binomially distributed, um, with n now being 6, because we've got 6 weeks that we're interested in here, and a chance of success in each of those weeks is 0 0.3177. And we're interested in at least 4, so we want the probability that we get at least 4 successes, i.e. that, the probability that y is greater than or equal to 4. And now you've definitely done the hard bit because we've got we've extracted all the maths that we can um, out of this, and we've just all the context is now gone. We just need to just solve this as a maths, pure sort of abstract maths problem. Uh, probability that y is greater than or equal to four is the same as the probability. Sorry, as is the same as one minus the probability that y is less than or equal to three, and that allows us to use the cumulative. Um, uh, so function on a calculator to um, find the probability of everything up to and including 3 and then take that away from 1 and we get our answer of 0 0.05 sorry 0 0.0854